absolutely thrilled to get you on, mate. Uh, you're, you're someone I've got enormous admiration for, um, not just as a football player, but as a human being. You're, you're, a, you're a pastor at Calvary Grace Church yes. in Canada. Um, mm. how, how did that transition take form? Um, it's all right being a, a, a born again Christian in sport, but making that step from born again Christian to actually going full time in ministry and becoming a pastor um, yeah. seems an amazing step. How did that, how did that, um, how was that transition period? How did that actually come around, you know? Yeah, so I, um, so obviously Christian since I was 18, had opportunities to uh, witness to my faith through my football career, but never thought I would go into into church ministry. It wasn't on my agenda. When I retired in 2002, uh, I went into the media. Uh, BBC were yep. after me. I, I, I worked for the BBC for six years and on Match of the Day and all the big shows, went to World Cups and the European Championships. Yeah, it was I remember. a dream, yep. dream second career. And, uh, and then in 2006, after the World Cup in Germany, when my career was just really flying. Taking off in um, television, yeah. Yeah, taking off. I was doing, I was presenting other things like songs of praise I was presenting wow. as well. I was doing a lot of work. My wife got very ill. And it's amazing when people you love get ill, you know, uh, yeah. it can really break your focus. And uh, at the same time, I'm, I'm reading the scriptures and I, I read in the pastoral epistles uh, in Second Timothy where Paul speaks to Timothy about the necessity to preach the word yeah. for the necessity of the next generation. Yeah. And I, it struck me those words of, uh, wow, this is a big thing and a great calling yeah. to preach God. And it stirred in me maybe a fire lit of, maybe this is something I I can do or I'm maybe called to do. Yeah. It was an intern thing, but it got recognized as I spoke to the leaders in my church and they said, well, we'll give you some opportunities. I'm still working for BBC here. I went to Cambridge University and did my Old Testament and New Testament studies. Yeah. And I'm in. I'm, it's funny because because I'm in with all the guys that are going into a ministry, and I'm wanting to study the Bible, and they just want to talk to me about football. <laughs> yeah. and, and they've seen me on the weekend, and they say, "Oh, I can't believe what you said about Arsenal." And yeah. They wanted to chat. Which is quite a unique. Yeah. And then, uh, and then once I started studying, I thought I said to my wife, "I think I'm going to give it up." People will think I'm crazy, but I'm going to give up this second dream career to prepare for church ministry. And how about if we look at coming, going away from England, where my profile was really high at that stage, because you're on telly all the time as well. Yeah. Um, to yeah. anonymity, we've been going to Canada quite a bit. We knew Incredible. the area and so um, a life experience. And then after I've done my master's studies, maybe three years later, we'll, we'll come back. It'd be good, a life experience, a test of faith, etc. And so after much prayer and deliberation, um, I told the head of football at BBC that I was leaving. Uh, we left our home, our families, wow. and uh, we came to uh, Calgary in Alberta, in Western Canada here. I finished, I, I did three years of studies here, and then I got offered a position at, uh, as an associate pastor at the church in Calgary. And we've stayed on now, we're 12 years in, and uh, I'm, a, I'm one of the a preacher, teacher, minister here, and I. But it's amazing. I came to anonymity, and God has really opened up doors for me to speak yeah. globally. Yeah. So yeah. I get invited to go UK regularly, China, Africa, exactly. and, I, and I've just just uh, written my biography as well, which comes out uh, in May. Which is, uh, uh, you know, it's been a great time to reflect after 50 years on my whole life and all these. All these different, well, all of which we've spoken about, and there's a greater glory in life than football fame and fortune. It's called A Greater Glory from Pitch to Pulpit. Yes. Yeah. Subtitle, yeah. Fantastic. A greater glory. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we get it on uh, for the viewers so they know where to get the book online. That'll be a, a fantastic read. Mm -hmm.